Hey everybody, as always, I hope you're doing well out there. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video to walk you through how to use the stress widget on your Garmin Instinct watch. Now I'm using the Garmin Instinct Solar. It doesn't matter which version of Garmin Instinct you've got, solar or not solar, they all have the stress widget available. I'm also using the watch as delivered from Garmin. I haven't made any adjustments to any of the hotkeys. So the stress widget basically displays your current level of stress and it also gives a graph of your stress level over a period of the last 2.5 hours. Uh, I'm going to show it to you. It's kind of like the uh, pulse oximeter in that you can't really display it as a data element. It's only available as a widget. So we're going to go in first and foremost and add it as a widget. Now I've done a video, video in the past that walks you through adding widgets. On my watch, if I press the up or down button, you notice that nothing happens. I don't have any widgets installed. I thought it might be simpler just to put it as the only widget. So I'm going to go down to settings. I'm going to go down to widgets. I'm going to add a widget. And the one that we're looking for is this guy right here, stress. So I've added the widget. And now let's go run it. And it kind of works the same way as the heart rate monitor, the pulse oximeter. When you go into it, all it does is it displays your current level of stress. You can see mine, it's pretty high. It went from 94 to 93. And that's it. You can basically look at that. If you press the GPS button, It'll say, take a moment to relax. You can either do this or not. I'm going to not do it first just to show you what happens. Here's what I was saying. Here's the graph of my stress level over the last two and a half hours. I can press the down button and I can get to my relax timer. Or we can do it back this way. I'll just press GPS and when it says, do you want to take a moment to relax? You can press yes and it'll take you to your relax timer as well. You can set your relax timer in the number of minutes you want. I'm just going to do one minute just to show you. And when you select it, it's going to basically give you a breathing exercise to sit and breathe, relax a little bit to try and get your stress level down. Now, I'm not going to bore you with it, but basically when it finishes this uh, relaxation timer, it'll just go back and show you your current stress level just like before. At any point you want to, you can stop the relax timer by just pressing the back button. I'm going to let you look at it a little bit longer and then I'll do that. Anyway, that's long enough, I think. And we're back at our main uh, stress screen. Once you've uh, use the widget to determine your stress level. You can just press the back button to get back to your main screen. So now I've shown you what the stress widget looks like. I'm going to go into the Garmin Connect app. As with everything else, the Garmin Connect app is going to give you more data. I shouldn't say app. The Garmin Connect website or app will give you more data than what your Garmin Instinct is going to show. It gives you a little bit more of a historical look at it. And we'll go look at that real quick. Okay, so as I mentioned, now I'm on my cell phone. Uh, I'm using an Apple device. It shouldn't matter whether you're using Apple or Android. The Garmin Connect app should be about the same between the two of them. When you go into your Garmin Connect app, it should, if you've got it set, should automatically start syncing your watch information, pulling in your values. Under your My Day section, you should see stress level. Now, if you don't see it, you'll want to scroll to the bottom, click on Edit My Day, and make sure you don't have it as a hidden card. If you do, you'll want to add that so you can see it in your My Day. So I'm going to go back up to it, and kind of like with everything else, I can click on the given day, see my stress level. You can see at what periods I was restful, low stress, medium stress, high stress. I can go back to any previous day and look at the same thing. I can also go down to the last seven days, and I can see kind of a historical trend over the last seven days over the last four weeks, over the last year. I always think it'd be kind of interesting, especially if you're somebody who's going on a vacation, to look at your stress level uh, before, during, and then after your vacation, see whether or not it really helps. But anyway, that's all it does. Uh, kind of like with everything else, just gives you some historical analysis to look at. Anyway, that's a quick look at the stress widget on the Garmin Instinct watch, as well as what the stress level uh, indicator looks like in the Garmin Connect app. If you've got any questions, post them in the comments. As always, I appreciate you watching this video. Have a good day.